Is that a way? You ready? Are you sure this is going to work, mate? <laughs> like a charm. Now, come on, shape up. Oh. What do you think you're doing? You go back inside. I'll take care of this. You'll be taken care of, mate. It's a broken jaw. Oh, is that right? Yeah. yeah. Tell me about it while you're eating out of the Stop it! Oh. Brad, leave him alone! No! He's been checking you out all night, and I'm sick to death of it. Carly is with me now, mate. She doesn't even know about you. <laughs> thought you cared. I'm sorry, mate. You walked straight into it. I thought you were going down the other side. Why is it I get the feeling I've been set up? <laughs> Grant reckoned you still liked me. He said you were just... You are just too stubborn to admit it. You're lucky you didn't get your jaw broken trying to find out. Yeah, well, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Do you still like me? Ben, I don't see what difference... Please, just answer me yes or no. If it's no, I'll walk. Yes. It's something. Yeah, but it doesn't change anything. And you're here for a few days and then you go back to the army. I told you I was thinking about getting out. But what if you don't? What? The occasional visit when you get leave? Well, forget it, we don't want that. I'm talking about something a lot more permanent than the occasional visit, Carl. What? I love you. I want to marry you. doing here so early? I thought you might have come to a decision. I thought you said no pressure. No, there's no pressure. Just thought I should keep in touch, that's all. At least tell me you've been thinking about me. I haven't slept all night for thinking about you. Well, that makes two of us. I haven't slept all night for thinking about you. Mm. Do you want some breakfast? I wouldn't say no. So did you tell Tom? Yeah, last night. And what was his reaction? Surprised. I can hardly blame him. After all, we weren't talking to each other yesterday, and now we're getting married. Oh, hey, I'm still thinking about it, remember? Yeah, well, you know what I mean. Carly, I am in with a chance, aren't I? Well, put it this way, I feel a lot better today than I did this time yesterday. <laughs> oh, this is the life. <sighs> Must be great living here full time. Well, you might change your mind when you have to get a job and everyone else is on holidays and you have to work. What are you doing? Gotta get to the diner. You're not gonna work. Yeah, I promised Elsa. It's Sunday. I know, but it's only gonna be for a few hours. Besides, I'm sure you can manage without me for that long. Well, I'm not so sure. Do you ever stop? Just making up for lost time. Ben, are you sure about quitting the army? Yeah. Well, you're not just doing it because of me, are you? Because I'd, I'd hate for you to leave and then regret it. Hey, five years in the army is enough for anybody. Do you know what you're going to do for work? Well, I'll think about it when I have to. I've got some money behind me. There's no need to rush into anything. All I want to do right now is make the most of the time I have with you. I love you, <laughs> I would like to see an old seal's face when that frog lobbed the foot. Oh, man, you should have seen it. It was a scream, eh, Mesa? Well, it was quite funny. I think Mr. Stewart was very happy about it, oh, though. Oh, tell me about it, eh, man? I got away with it on the skin of my teeth. Well, look, you're coming in bed. Oh, good day, guys. Good day. Hey, listen, you want some tucker to bulk them out? No. Oh, no, thanks. I've got to get to the diner and work. We can crack them up. Oh, no. Oh, come on, mate. You can fill us in on the army life, eh? Yeah, go on. It'll give you something to do while I'm working away. All right, I'll see you when you get back. Hey, yeah, on you, mate. Right. Mm. <laughs> well, it smells good. Mm. Yeah, it'll be a lot better than that tuck you eat in the army, mate. I'll, tell you. I'll let you know once I've given it the Lucini taste test. Come in. Come in, Ben. Yeah, Tom, come in. 
Well, I guess you know why I'm here. Yeah, well, I was going to come and see you, but I thought I'd wait until Carly gave me your answer. Fair enough. You want to sit down? Yeah, thanks. A drink or something? No, no, I'm fine. Look, Carly's old enough to look after herself. The fact is, I'd prefer it if she didn't know I was here. Well, it's fine by me. Besides, it could be a wasted trip. She might say no. Yeah, well, it's all a bit sudden, Ben. I mean, you've only known each other a couple of weeks. Well, what can I say? I, I know how I feel about it. Yeah, well, that's what I want to be sure about. Now, this isn't some kind of holiday romance, is it, that you're going to regret once you stop and think about it? No way. Yeah. Well, Carly's had a bit of a rough trot with blokes lately. I don't want to see her hurt. Tom, the last thing I want to do is hurt her. If there's some way I could prove that to you, I would. OK, Ben. I guess I just wanted to hear it for myself. You believe me? Well, I've got no reason not to. The rest's up to Carly. Hello, Ben. Hello, Elsa. Hi. Hey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Listen, I've promised to take Lance and Martin over one of our tanks. Do you want to come along? Yeah. Alice, you don't know me anymore, do you? No, no, sure. You guys go ahead. Yeah, All right. thanks. Okay, if we have a squeeze or what, mate? Yeah, mate, you heard the sides. Go for it. Come on, Mesa. Imagine hooting around in this, mate. <laughs> It'd be grouse, eh? Yeah, you can forget about red lights, that's for sure. <laughs> hey, listen, can you really drive this no bull? Yeah, no bull. Well, how about taking us for a spin, then, eh? Yeah, what a great idea. Oh, the sarge is a good bloke, but I don't want to stretch the friendship. Yeah. Okay, well, we can, uh, can we check inside? Yeah, go for it. Just don't touch anything, okay? No worries, mate. Come on, mate. <laughs> Get there. Wow, man, look at right. How can you swing be heavy, eh? Oh, damn. <laughs> like a couple of kids with a new toy? <laughs> yeah, they've had a ball. Thanks for showing them around like that. No worries. You OK? Yeah. Why? Well, you haven't said anything since we left the diner. Yeah, I've been thinking. About us? Yeah. Have you come to any decision? Mm -mm. Oh. Oh. What? I think I'm beginning to understand how people get ulcers. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing out here? Well, I'm giving these poor civilians a tour of our army hardware. Oh, I see. Come up and have a look, Miss Jo. Oh, I think I can see everything that I want to see from down here. Thank you, Lance. Tell you what, Ben, I wouldn't mind one of these me model car collection, mate. <laughs> well, I don't think there's much of a chance of that. Well, are you, sh you sure I can't have a drive? What? Yeah, I'm positive. Ben. Uh, do you think it's wise to let a delinquent like Martin Dibble at the controls of such an expensive piece of equipment? Uh, she does have a point there, Ben. Well, fair enough. OK, fellas, I think you've seen enough. Come on down. Uh, just a sec, man. Oh, no, come on, you heard your man, man. No, I'm still trying to work out how you start a thing like this, Lance. Yeah, well, don't worry about it. surrounded by the local lunatic fringe. Well, he says I'm going to live in Summer Bay. Well, where do you expect us to live once we're married? Really? <laughs> really. You will? Oh! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Hey, listen, Ben, I'm sorry about it. Look, man, it's fine. At least it was only the bike you ran over. The army's not going to give you an honourable discharge or a court martial or anything, are they, Ben? No, I doubt it. Besides, I've got other plans. So, when are we going to make a big announcement? 
Not yet. No, not even to Tom? No. Maybe you should do the right thing and ask for your hand in marriage. Uh, no, just don't tell anybody. I want to find people first. Why? I just do, that's all. Oh, uh, congratulations. Oh, thank you, Celia. Um, Carly's told you, has she? Oh, well, uh... Oh, what's happening? I must have missed something. Carly and Ben are engaged. Well, what can I say, mate? Welcome to the family. Oh, well, thanks, Tom. And look, if it's any consolation, I'm as surprised as you are at the speed of the... Have you told your folks? No, I haven't had a chance since Carly surprised me with the news. Oh, well, you better get used to surprises. Life with Carly's full of them. Tom! <laughs> oh, I'm only <laughs> Look, now that I've had a chance to get over my shock, I'd like to wish you both all the best. It's great news. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers. Huh. Do you want to phone your parents now? No, not yet. Oh, you haven't changed your mind, have you? No, of course not. I'll call them later. I can just see my mother. She'll need at least a day to call all the relatives. And believe you me, there are thousands of them. Thousands? Well, hundreds anyway. Oh, what about their names? There's no way I'm going to be able to remember them all. <laughs> you know something? Neither can I. <laughs> <laughs> you thought about the wedding at all? No, but let me warn you. It's a Lucini family tradition for us to cook all the food. They believe it's good luck. Oh, Pippa won't be offended. No, oh, I don't think so. In fact, she'd probably be over the moon. She loves Italian food. <laughs> Great. Come on, you two. You'll see each other in the morning. Good night, Tom. Good night, Ben. I love you. I love you too. Mm. <laughs> I'll be able to speak the language in no time. Oh, Italian. One of the most romantic languages of all, in my opinion. And apparently the Italians make the best with the best uh, husbands. I hope so. They do. Oh, I thought you went back to base. No, never. Oh. I just had something to do first. Oh, well, I, I must be going. Oh, Celia brought us a present. Oh, Celia. It's very nice of you, but you shouldn't have. Oh, it was nothing at all. Now, have a safe trip back to base, and I'll see you next time you're in Summer Bay. Bye-bye. Uh, Goodbye, Celia. Bye. I was getting worried about you. Mm, thought I'd run out and you, did you? No. Hmm? <laughs> I don't know, maybe. Never. It's just that my family would never forgive me if I didn't do the right thing. <sighs> I, Benito Lucini, would be honoured if you, Carly Morris, would be my wife. I would. And in true Lucini tradition, we are betrothed. <laughs> Come on. Come on, take it up, soon. I'm not going to war. I'll be back soon. I know. I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you, too. I love you. I love you, too. <sighs> Ti amo. Hey, that's Italian. Straight from Celia's phrase book. Ti amo molto bene. Got a minute.